I've got this, the male's actually for like the newborn baby, so I've kept it for 19 years. Why did I leave it in my wardrobe? Of all places, why did I leave it in my wardrobe? Like, oh my god, what the hell are you doing? I'm never gonna throw them away because it's very special to me. They're the kind of golf caps. I think this could be for one of my ex-boyfriends, so I'm not gonna keep that. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you guys have seen by the title of today's video, you will know that I am decluttering my very messy wardrobe because it has been building up and building up and building up for ages and now it is time for me to tackle all this mess and completely strip my wardrobe and saw everything out on it because it is been stressing me out for the longest time ever and it finally needs to be organised and everything kind of like colour coordinated and like yeah so in today's video I'm basically throwing out my wardrobe I feel as if this could take a while because I do have a lot of clothes as you guys can tell in my wardrobe and I just have like a lot of rubbish kind of thrown like on my wardrobe floor. Before we get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up. It would be nice to get to a goal of 30 likes on this video and also please make sure to leave a comment if you are in enjoying this video and also make sure to subscribe because we are super close to 4,000 subscribers. Honestly guys please 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 subscribe to my channel because I have been are you ready? I have been we're going to hit 4,000 subscribers for the longest time ever. So please subscribe to my channel because it'll make me really happy. But yeah, without further ado, let's go on the video. Hi guys, so in case you're wondering, this lovely wardrobe is from Ikea. Also please excuse the dirty mirror. Yes, I have not cleaned the mirror in a couple of months. They're really disgusting, I know, but I just keep forgetting to clean it. No excuse really, I should be cleaning it every week as part of my bedroom kind of cleaning routine I have going on every week but I keep on forgetting. But yeah, inside my wardrobe I have all my clothes hung up on here, a lot of clothes and all the crap just thrown on the floor and then underneath in this little bit area here, which I'm just going to show you all in case you want to see that, oh, actually I probably won't even show, there's like it's all, all my prom stuff in there but for this video, I will be tackling. Wait a minute, my tripod's not working. I will be tackling all this mess here and all this stuff here because it is in need of a deep, like, organisation and stuff. So, I guess I'm just going to start off with everything from on the floor. So, I actually wore these PJs for bed last night. So. I'm going to wear these tomorrow, so it's going to chuck everything on my bed. I've also got this top, which actually fell off the hanger. In some clothes, it really annoys me, they fall off like the clothes hangers, and they end up building the pile up of like the perfectly clean, or perfectly clean clothes. So I should really put this on the hanger. But obviously, I'm going to be chucking like everything on my bed and organise it. The messy wardrobes just aren't the one. I've also got this jumper here which has a lot of my hair in it I'm still gonna keep this I'm gonna try and maybe like I'll have a look if I if I want to give anything away and like and put it in like a charity shop bag to go to the charity shops but I'm gonna keep this but I think I might have worn it I'm not quite sure anyway um I also have oh there's some cute PJs here which I'm gonna be keeping a pair of jeans which are need to go in the wash because they smell, kind of disgusting. I've also got this jumper which you could probably do with going in the wash and this bodysuit because it, I've worn it. Oh my god. This jumper here which I can actually put on the hanger so that's what I'm going to do. Need some pretty little thing. Um, I love my crop pile of jumpers, can you tell guys? I love it. Uh, what else? This little teddy bear. I think I got this I was actually for like a newborn baby so I've kept it for 19 years and I don't actually have a name for it to be honest, we call it Bertie, Bertie the bear, this is 19 years old and he's my best bud and he's still in really good condition actually, he's really cute, look at that, oh hiya, 
Oh, it's so cute. I'm going to put him on my chair just here because he's adorable. Um, I then also have some packaging in case I want to actually sell anything and put it in there, which I think is fair enough. Um, I've got a sports bra, which I could probably put in the wash as well. Or maybe even... Yeah, that's what's in that pile. In more packaging in case I want to put any like orders or anything. A jumper which I've actually worn, which... Not have I worn this? Oh yeah, I've got smells. Ugh. Um, another little teddy bear. I've had this ever since I was a little girl as well. It just says... Forever Friends Sugar Blank Collection. It's really cute and fluffy actually. You could probably do it with a wash because I don't know if he's ever been washed, which is kind of grimy, but it's really cute. And it's like my little baby again. Oh, that's so cute. Um, what else? Bras. <laughs> I could probably go in the wash. There's some very crumpled up wrapping paper. Oh, why did I leave it in my wardrobe? Of all places, why did I leave it in my wardrobe? Like, oh my god, what the hell else are you doing? Um. Oh, this dress. Oh. I've got a story about this dress guys, basically Scott ordered me a dress from Sheen and it looked really nice on the model, however when it arrived I tried it on it was absolutely horrendous, um, so here it is, it's a lovely rose gold colour however it looks horrendous on me, like oh my god it's literally like awful, so and we were trying to, we were trying to return it it was Sheen, but they gave us a full refund, so I've got this dress for nothing, but I'm going to take this to the charity shop, I think, because I'm not going to keep this, because I do not suit it, and it does not look anything like the photo on Sheen, so that's going to go in the charity shop pile over there. Um, I've got more packaging, how boring, even more packaging. I've got a Louis Vuitton dust bag from one of my handbags. I'm guessing it could be from a never full handbag. I'll keep it just in case I, like, I need to put anything in it because it, it's always handy and I also have a, a Louis Vuitton card. It looks like a, a gift voucher for like a Louis Vuitton or something. I wish. Honestly, if I could have a voucher for like any designer shop, it would be Louis Vuitton 100%. And then I've just got like a lot like, more like a little teddy bears. I've had this one ever since I was a baby. I won this uh, I think I won this one at an arcade once like a little pig. But honestly my hair is everywhere. My hair is on everything, like so bad. I've also got the Mickey Mouse I've had ever since I was a baby. I think I might have got this off my grandparents actually. And this is from is this from Paris? I think it's actually from Paris. Oh my god, it's French. Mwah. <laughs> um what else? Oh, they my lovely Harrods, the teddy bear, which I got as a baby, 2001. That's the year I was born. He's called Harold. He's called Harold. He has a little Harrods jacket on as well. I'm never going to throw him away because he's very special to me. And he, he was kind of born in 2001, if you like to call it that. But yeah, this is probably like the only thing I have from Harrods, but I love him. And he's adorable, so... Of course I'm keeping him because he's my little baby, honestly. You've been with me ever since day one, so I'm keeping you. Bless him. Um, what else have I got? I've got an instruction guide for my lovely chair from Donnell. My little Alan key or whatever you call it. <laughs> honestly, don't have a clue. What else do we have? Oh, this is from Ghetto Golf in Liverpool. They're the kind of golf caps. Look at that, it's just sicker than your average, you know? Yeah, that's what I am, I'm sicker than your average. Oh my god, I am so embarrassing. I, I'm going to keep these for the memories. I think Scott actually got a blue one of these, but of course it has my foundation marks of where I've had makeup on because I feel like I get foundation on everything. And we also have a little teddy bear which is, says someone special and I think this could be from one of my ex-boyfriends, so I'm not going to keep that. Yeah, that's going to the charity shop because I'm not keeping that. Sorry, sorry, but no thanks. I've also got a bra which needs to go in the wash and the bralette. A red Calvin Klein one. Ooh, 
little bit of rouge in there. I then have with my old poly box from when I got my old poly dress, but I want to keep it because it's pink and I, I can use it for like for shipping and stuff. And I've also got the MacBook air box from when I got the MacBook. It seems to have something inside this rolling about, but yeah. I'm going to keep this in case I ever need to do anything with my laptop. It, it, it's always handy to keep the packaging of like technology stuff with the iPhone boxes, isn't it? And then finally, in the bottom of this wardrobe, I have my leopard print, um, what's this called? Throw. I think I'm, I think I'm actually going to put this in my car, but just in case I ever need to bring it in with me. I suppose it would be very handy to take it in the car, um, in case my car ever broke down and I needed something to keep me warm, I could have this with me. So that's actually a really good idea. So I'm going to chuck that on my bed. But that is everything on the bottom of my wardrobe. I think I'm going to give it a little clean. I use a bit of Fabulosa to clean it up with and it's running nice and fresh again. And then I'll probably take all these off and organise them as well because they are in need of a massive organisation right now. I'm going to use a bit of Fabulosa Cherry and I'm a minky to clean it up with. Oh my god. If having lots of cherry smells amazing. This is the winter cherries one, so basically like a Christmas edition one. But oh my god, it smells amazing. So I'm just gonna give this a bit of a clean. Oh my god, it has so much hair and dust in this, like what? But yeah, I'll give the doors a bit of a clean. <laughs> this is how I clean my the wardrobe. So operation to take all the clothes off there <laughs> because it's gonna be a bit of a big task now. Time to take all this off. I do have a lot of clothes. I'm going to try and organise them. I should try and move all, all this rubbish out of the way, like these boxes, which I should keep in a safe place. Right, I, I think we've got enough space to kind of move things around. So starting from my college stuff, I actually have with some old work polos. I won't be able to actually show these just in case. I might actually take those polos out now. Right. Because this is like my old work clothing, but obviously I won't need that anymore. So I'm guessing I can say goodbye to these. <laughs> um, I'm just going to throw that off from my bed. And this other polo. I swear I used to have two polos. I don't know where the other one went. Unless it's like... Honestly guys, I don't have a clue. But the goodbye old work polo. Because I will not need you anymore. <laughs> End of the era working in the pub, you know? Right, so I've got some hangers here. Next up, I've got another little hanger. Oh my god, that's tiny. Um, I've got in my interview kind of dress. I call this in my interview I call this my interview dress because I wear it for interviews or like a new job kind of thing. That's some pretty little thing, so I'm definitely gonna keep that. Uh, actually yeah, this time my wardrobe's okay because um, it's where I keep my work uniforms and stuff. So this this is my college tunic, but one of them. But it's way too big for me. But I'm just gonna keep it in case, or maybe I can sell it on a beauty page if anyone wants it. And then I've also got this dress. I'm gonna keep on that side because like it's. It's classed like a work dress, if you like. My college kind of the cardigan. I keep that beside the college things. I think I'll keep the those two there, and I'll also need a spare hanger for. I also need a spare hanger for when to put my other tunic on there. So that's like the work kind of area section. I've also got a work top somewhere. This is kind of classed like a work top. It's inside out though, so we'll, we'll sort that out, <laughs> isn't it? And obviously, the place where I'm working at. At the minute, yeah, because I've only got like a temporary job, but the, well, a temporary kind of. I've just got to wear like all black, so all black clothing is um, it's pretty easy for me to wear. If this is like a a, a bodysuit from PLT, um, and oh, I wear this for going to work with if um, like if it's a bit colder and stuff, you know, it's inside out still. But that is that one, so this is going to go in there as well with my work stuff. I then just have a lot of crop tops and, and summery tops 
I have to match the bottom to this, which is actually at the end. So I like to keep all the colours together in one area. So it's going to go at the end of my wardrobe. And then I've got a little summery top. I'm going to keep that over there for now because this is this is the part where I'm going to have to kind of sort it out. I have a couple of jumpers there. I'll keep all the jumpers together because I've never worn my clothes. What else do I have? I also have another one which is for warm clothes. Um, <laughs> some more jumpers because you can have too many. I'm not actually really keen on this one as much but I'll keep it just in case. You never know when you might wear something. Mm. And that's the reason why I rarely chuck any clothes out because I'm like, oh, I'll wear it someday. I've also got this blouse. I'll class this as like a, like a work kind of top because I wear this for interviews as well. So this could be like part of my interview section in there. So that's like all, all organised now. That's gets to make me very happy. I've also got another jumper and another jumper. My god, how many jumpers do I actually own? I've got a Nike one and this is from h and actually. Oh my god, it's so cute. But yeah, Nike is more for like, I don't know, going out, I don't know. I don't know. Right, these hangers are really stressing me out. Okay. Um, I've also got this really cute the cardigan from Zara. So like, it's like a cropped cardigan. Oh my god, it's so cute. I think I might have bought this for £20 or something, but oh my god, it's actually adorable. If you're going to hang this up with my jumpers, because like it, it, it's that kind of material, but it, it doesn't actually stay on the hanger, which actually annoys me so much, but we just have to roll with it, aren't we? I don't want to make like any holes in it either, so I'm just going to leave it like this. Right, what next? The long sleeve tops are next up. This from River Island. I'm going to keep this with them. Uh, what else is there? This is like a cropped the long sleeve. I'll probably keep hold of that for now. Um, the long sleeve top. That's gone with them. In my wardrobe is very colourful actually. I think I've got a lot of colour in there, even though I do have a lot of pink clothing, but that's because, you know, I love my pink, you know. Um, oh, that's f falling down. Oh, things are just falling down now, guys. It's all going to pot. I also have this jumper, which I think... I'm not keeping that because that is way too big. Why would I even think of keeping that? Then let's go to the charity shop because I'm not keeping that. I have a t-shirt, everybody, because, you know, moving on, we've got... A Dior t-shirt which I'm going to keep next to there. You know what? I'm taking all these crop tops off because they are really annoying me. These are really annoying me so I'm going to keep those there. Oh! I also have like a, a long sleeve kind of top which I'll keep with that. That's long sleeve. I've also got another long sleeve one which I'll keep over next to the Zara one which I just put there. Right. But now time for t-shirts. Okay. What's this one? I've got a black Calvin Klein one which I'm going to keep with the t-shirts because it's a t-shirt. Oh, I've also got another t-shirt here. Which is... It's with a new look one. I actually love this so much guys. It's actually so cute. So I'm keeping those together. Next to the Dior one. I've also got a Machina one which I've just managed to put together with that. Um, I actually hate this so much. I bought it on holiday. I'm not going to keep it because I don't I really like it. So let's go to the charity shop. You know, it's fine. Um, what else is there? I could say this is probably more of, of like a t shirt. And I'll go there. And now it's time for crop tops or kind of like cute tops so this one's going there i've got another one here oh my god i have so much clothes it's unbelievable now how gorgeous is this color it's from h&m oh my god it's like a lovely satin kind of crop top right what do i have here i've got this 
Hold on for H&M. I'll well, see guys, H&M clothing is actually unreal. Like, I recommend that. I'm going to put that with them as well. They're not far off now, guys, by the way. So now it's time for this. And I'll be ready. Here's the current state of the wardrobe, everybody. It is so organised now. I am over the moon about it, to be honest, because I'm, I'm really happy about it. So now it's time to move on to this part of the wardrobe, which I will just say now, it is an absolute tip, okay? Look at the state. In that drawer, and that drawer in particular, I mean, it's yeah, it's just a mess. So, if we're going to have a very fun time, you know. But in case you're wondering, I'm actually selling these, these three jaw headbands for £15 each of the minute. So, if you guys are interested in buying one, head over to my Instagram, um, Alice.Homes underscore. I messaged me to see if it's still available. I've got a lovely like the navy blue one and then a couple of these tie headbands as well so if you want to grab yourself one it'll be quick because it's selling very fast. But yeah that's what's in there anyway. So like I've just got like all my crop tops in here and shorts. Like the things I'm kind of selling at the minute. The jeans and joggers and the pants and then all my camera equipment in there. So I'm just gonna kinda like organise it and stuff and yeah I have to tackle this mess so I'm gonna start from the top until the bottom. The bottom shelf is just full of my camera equipment so I don't really have to sort that really but I'm just gonna pull everything down like what the hell? I have so many crop tops it's actually a joke. So yeah um here we go, it's literally just gonna be a big mess. Oh my god, full of stuff. Oh my god, what the hell? How much have I got? Right, so I have a lot of crop tops. I won't be keeping all these. Oh my god, I've just found this gorgeous pink in like sports bra. I do own a couple of sports bras, and oh my god, I, I love this. I haven't seen this in ages. Oh my god, I'm keeping this. So I've just got to find the other spots where I had to put together with this and then I can keep those kind of together if you know what I mean. So well, here's the other spots for us. So I'm thinking I'll put the spots for us together up on there um, on this side. Oh my god how gorgeous is that and like it crosses up at the back. Oh my god I need to wear this again because it's so nice anyway. That's those two there. Now it's right. These are going into the charity shop. I don't know what the hell I was thinking with these. The colour does not see me at all, and they've still got the tags in them. And they're going to the charity shop because I do not need them. Right. Shorts. I'm definitely keeping these because they're kind of a pinky colour, so those are going at the back. Um, what other ones have I got actually? Um, oh here we go. Oh here's all my shorts. A black pair because oh my god. They also did a black pair of shorts in the summertime. Full nose up at the back. A, a lovely light, a light wash pair as well. I'm, I'm keeping those. I think I'm going to keep all my pair of shorts you know. Keeping that as well. Now. Time for more shots. These pair of shots are gorgeous. <laughs> I've tried. I'm going to be leaving this shelf because it's going to get in a mess again and it's just really wasting my time. So now it's time for jeans. So I'm um, like in pants and stuff. So I, I literally have a lot of stuff here that is going to need sorted out. Oh my god, I have loads of stuff. Oh my god, I, I never even, even realised I had half of this stuff. Well, I guess I better keep a move on. These jeans I will not be keeping. 
No, I'm not keeping them. I don't like them. Definitely not keeping them. They're my Johnny jeans. Who remembers the Johnny jeans? I won't be keeping these anymore because I do not I like the ripped jean look. I could try them on, but they're not a bit of me anymore, guys. You know, they're really good quality jeans, but Top Chap is not. It's no longer a thing anymore. The Johnny jeans. Oh, but I used to love wearing them jeans. I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm going to take them back and keep them because they are my first ever pair of Johnny jeans. I remember I wanted them so bad for so long. Okay, I'm keeping them. I love the wash of them as well. I think I'll just keep them for the memories, okay? I, I, yeah. I'm getting emotionally attached to jeans. They're not quite s serious. Something's obviously going on there, but yeah. I'll keep my little baby Johnny jeans, I'm just going to keep these at the bottom because I probably won't ever wear them ever again, but yeah. Um, these joggers, I'm not really keen on them. They're alright actually, I'll keep them just in case. The Jack Wheels, I will not be keeping because, I, no, they're not a bit of me anymore, sorry. Um, I've got, oh yes, these are my old, like my old work. It's like a little pity thing, I will not be keeping that, that's part of my work stuff, so if you go on the works pile. My Deedus leggings, I will not be keeping, they'll be going over there. Oh, they've got all the work t-shirts, I, I don't need that anymore. Um, I've got my black Zara jeans, of course I'm keeping these because Zara jeans are amazing. This is the end of my wardrobe declutter, finally is actually organised, like oh my god. How amazing and organised does this look? Like, <laughs> who am I now? Like, organising that, but you know, it's fine. And all of this stuff here, guys, are you ready for this? This is all going into the charity shops because, <laughs> yeah, I need a bit of declutter. But anyway, guys, I really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video and hopefully it has helped you. And maybe you want to get some motivation to sort your wardrobe out because I feel so much better for doing it now. If you finish organising something, it makes you feel ten times better. So yeah, I really hope that I really hope that, that you guys have enjoyed this video and if you have please make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below and also subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in my next video. Bye buddy!